Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Data Structures YouTube series. In this video, as you can tell, we're going to be going over stacks. Um, stacks are a very basic but very important data structure used in computer science. So this video will probably be a bit on the shorter side, but uh, with that in mind, let's just jump right into it. So what is a stack? Well, you can kind of visualize it as essentially what I've drawn there. It's just a small pile of elements uh, within sort of a container, and that container is the stack itself. We can add to the stack by adding on to the top. So if I were to add maybe the number four, I could do something like, oh, I could do something like this and add the four on there. If I wanted to remove from the stack, let's say I wanted to access the element two. Well, two is underneath four. I can't exactly do that without removing four first. So let's remove four, and then, oh, now I have access to two because I can just take it right off the top and it won't disrupt anything underneath it. And that is sort of the unique functionality that stacks have. When we add, we add to the top, and that's known as pushing. We push to the stack, meaning we add to the stack, and that always goes on top. When we want to remove from the stack, we always remove what was most recently pushed, and that is called popping. Popping. So there's pushing and popping. Pushing is adding to the top of the stack. Popping is removing from the top of the stack. And this unique functionality is what gives a stack its kind of descriptive term uh, where it's known as a LIFO. So I'll write that out for you. LIFO. And that is an acronym. It stands for last in first out. And that's pretty self-explanatory, but I can explain it again. Um, essentially, the last element that we've added into the stack, which in this case is the two here, is the first element that we would remove from the stack, right? So if I added that four back in, let me just kind of put it there. If I wanted to remove something from the stack, I would have to pull out the four first, right? And that's essentially it. That's essentially how a stack works. They are super basic, but super important. So I hope I made it clear to you guys um, how this works. Now let's go take a look at some code. So as you can see here, I have a very basic stack setup. This is probably, actually this is the absolute minimum you would need to have a functioning stack. Uh, but let's walk through it a little bit. So as you can see here, we are just initializing the stack with an empty list. And that list is essentially going to be manipulated to work in the way that a stack works. Seems simple enough. So let's go over to our push and pop functions. So as I mentioned earlier, a push function, when we push to a stack, we add a value or an element, I should say, to the top of the stack. And that's simply done by adding to the end of our list here, right? So now the end we are essentially treating is as the top, right? But over here in our pop function, uh, as I said again earlier, uh, remo it removes the value from the top of the stack. Well, as I just said, the top of our stack is considered, or we are now considering the top of our stack to be the end of our self.stack list here. So what we are going to do when we remove the value from the top of the list is we are going to pop from the end. And essentially what that's going to do is it's going to remove it from the stack and then we can return it to the user so they can do what they want with it. It has now been completely removed and we can continue to use our stack. It's super basic, super straightforward. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it to a stack. It's one of those fundamental data structures that every programmer needs to know, especially if you're looking for a career in computer science. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, comment down below for suggestions for future videos. Let me know what you thought, um, if you liked or disliked any part of the video. The code here will be left down below. And uh, I will also leave a couple links to my Discord server in case you want to pop in, say hi, maybe ask a couple questions. Uh, what did I say? Like, comment, subscribe. Absolutely subscribe. I'm making more videos despite, you know, not being super consistent with my upload schedule. But I am trying. School's a bit rough, especially with it all being online right now. But uh, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> if you really need help that bad or really want to learn more, pop into the Discord below. I'll do my best to help you out. But that's it for the video. Again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.